Hi there, welcome back to Resin by Drew. Today I'm going to work on these uh, coffee um, mugs and, um, well, coffee coasters and a coffee tray. Um, I'm going to add some coffee beans and then I'm going to add some um, resin with a brown um, I'll, sorry, the word completely slipped my mind. I always do that, don't I? I'm going to add some um, alcohol ink in a brown colour so that we can still see through, through to the coffee beans. And then I'm going to try and get some sort of um, frothy top going on. Um, so let me see. I'm going to add the coffee beans to start with. The coffee beans smell absolutely good gorgeous I adore the smell of coffee beans don't like to drink coffee that actually gives me migraine but I absolutely adore the smell of coffee I'm only going to be putting a very thin layer of resin down on today's um, um, project because I want to make sure the coffee beans don't rise to the top too much um, by that I mean I don't want them to, them to sit above the surface too much. I don't mind if they do a little bit, uh, but not too much. In fact, it might actually be a, ni a nice idea if they do rise up a little bit. I wonder, should I have them at the bottom, do you think, or should I have them at the top? No, I think we'll keep them, we'll keep them at the bottom so that we can have the, the frothy goings on at the top. Um, and um, we'll keep the coffee beans at the bottom but I, I don't think it really matters too much if they do rise above a little bit um, so I'm not too concerned about that so long as the resin covers them I won't be too concerned if they do rise up a little bit especially on the tray um, maybe a bit less so on the coasters but the tray I don't think it matters too much it could make it more of a feature these smell absolutely divine. Okay, so I think that's enough for the coffee beans. Maybe a few more in the tray. Take this back up and I'll get to go to mix in my colours. So I've got my resin ready. Um, for my first coat I'm using resin 8 coat hit. Um, it, I've not been using this resin very long and I do like it. The only downside is it's um, it's classed as a low viscosity resin but it's not. It's a little bit more like a medium viscosity which means I am going to try it for flowers but I haven't got around to doing that just yet. Uh, but th it does that does also mean that you get a few more bubbles but nothing that a little bit of TLC can't handle. Um, or can't deal with um, so that shouldn't put you off at all it, it is a it is a lovely resin to use um, from my experience so far so I've poured a little bit of resin into this tub here this is going to be for my um, frothy bit and for my frothy bit I'm using resin 8 uh, parchment uh, which is an opaque pigment I'm going to stir the pigment And I am going to scrape quite a bit off because I don't want it too dark. I'm going to pop that into my uh, little tub here. So let me get a tissue so I can keep wiping my hands. I seem to get pigment all over my hands for some reason. So I'll just mix that in. I have got some white as well so that I can lighten it if I need to. Which I think I'm probably going to, to in all honesty. That's the colour I've got to so far. Uh, but I do think it needs to be a little bit lighter. Especially because I'm using an alcohol ink for the, um, the brown part of it. I think I don't want to go too dark on the, um, on the frothiness.
I'm just getting some white. I, uh, I'm, the white that I'm using again is I'm using that much white just so that you get an idea of how much I'm using and putting that much white in. Uh, the white that I'm using again is a Resinator pig pigment and it is just white. It is just called white. So now I've now got two mixing sticks, two stirring sticks in my um, frothy pot. But it is lightening it. Let's see if we can get down to one stick. I'll scrape one stick off. Now I don't always show me mixing the colours but I know sometimes you like to see them so I'm trying to mix it up a little bit so that if people do want to see me mix the colours they can happily sit through and watch and for those that don't want to necessarily see me mix colours because you're quite confident, quite happy doing that yourselves or you've seen it a thousand times before then you can just fast forward that bit. So I'm that's the colour that I've got for my frothy bit so I think that's probably about right. So let's go with the leather, I'm using uh, Resinate um, leather alcohol ink and that's, I'm going to add this to my pot of um, the rest of the resin that I've got left. I'm going to add quite a bit because I do want it quite, want it quite a nice colour but I don't want it to be too opaque which is why I've gone for an alcohol ink. be a little bit too dark there I'm not sure I hope it's not because I don't want it to cover the coffee beans I think it might cover the coffee beans to start with but then hopefully the coffee beans will show through as I say this is just a very thin layer this one I know you can't see all of the tray and I do apologise about that. I've got as much as I can into view of the camera. Um, I will be, there's no, I'm not doing anything on the tray that I'm not doing on the coasters. So you won't be missing anything. Let's do the tray to get the tray out of the way first of all. And then I can focus on where you can actually see everything that I'm doing. I can still, can still oh, I can't speak. I can still see the beans through there, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, it just makes them look a little bit darker. That's all, but that's fine. And then I'll just put a clear coat on as a top coat, which will be my heat resistant layer as well. I don't know whether to add decals. I probably won't on these, but I can't say for sure yet. I'll see how I feel as we go. See how they're looking as we go. Need 
need a fraction more resin which is just absolutely typical isn't it actually my resin in my tray mold has pulled a little bit where I want to put my frothy bit so if I can pinch a bit from there I might not need to make any more resin See, I think that was not, uh, a few days ago I was um, replying to someone in the comments and I was saying, um, they said, you know, it's good to see that other people have problems as well. It was something, it was a video that I'd shown where not everything was straightforward and um, I said, yeah, you know, I am used to having problems and I promised from the beginning I would show the good, the bad, the ugly and everything, but I have learned different ways to cover things up and this is what just one example. I can see that the the resin's pooling at one, one end, so I'm just stealing a little bit of it to fill these coasters up um, so that I don't have to make any more resin. So it's not that we don't have... The, we don't have problems it's not that everything's always smooth sailing for us it's just that we find ways around it that's all and it is purely down to practice so if you try something and it doesn't go right for you every time don't worry about it no sweat it doesn't matter just try again it doesn't go right for us all the time and I, pr I promise you that anyone that says it does is not telling the truth I'm just pouring the frothy bit onto the top Trying to keep that a thin layer so it stays within the realms of the um, the space I've got up there. I think it was too bad of a guesstimate really for the resin. So that's it, that's all I'm going to do with them for now. I'm going to leave them to cure up overnight. Um, and it will be overnight because things aren't curing quite so quickly now that the weather's cooled down a little bit. Um, so um, I'll leave them to cure up overnight and then tomorrow I'll put my top coat on and then they'll be, um, they'll be good to go so I can decide whether to put decal on or leave them. Um, but um, let me just fill that bit in there with a little bit of frothiness, frothy goodness. Yeah, that's it. That's all I'm going to do with them. So I'll pause the video for now and I will be back with you tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Hi there, welcome back. I'm just going to demold these um, coasters and the tray that I've made. Um, I didn't record putting the decals on or the um, top coat because I've just done a couple of videos where I've recorded that and I didn't think you'd want to see it again. So let's demold the coasters first and we'll see how they look. Take them all out first of all and then I'll show you the decals closer up. Just got a little tiny bit of overspill there. Again, there's no big surprise on these because you see the right side um, 
as soon as as soon as you look at them it's not like flowers where you've got to wait and you've got to turn them over and see the right side and have a big reveal that way just put the mold off to one side just doing a little bit of tidying up from a little tiny bit of overspill but there's not hardly anything right let me show you these a bit close up i like the way that i like that i wasn't so sure about the color of the um the alcohol ink i thought it might be a little bit too dark but it's not it's come out nice because you can still see the coffee beans so um the i don't know how well you can see the decals but this one says more espresso less depresso um, so I like, I'm happy with that, I like that one. The next one is anything is possible but first coffee. Again I like where you can see the beans at the bottom. Really pleased with these. Coffee makes anything possible. And it's funny, it's strange that I'm making these because I, like I said, I absolutely adore the smell of coffee, but I don't drink it. I don't drink tea either, but um, I don't drink coffee, but I've really enjoyed making these. Um, and then I've got, it's always coffee time. So that's the, um, that's the coasters. I will take some close-up shots and I'll add those on to the end of the video. But let me demold the tray and we'll see how that's looking. Now the, the tray, um, well I'll show you the decal when we've demolded it. Just doing a little tiny bit of overspills. I'm taking it out. Hardly anything, it's just little tiny bits. Not sure whether to put feet on this or not. I think you'd see the you'd see the feet at the bottom though. Um, I'm not sure. How I'll see. Maybe I will. I don't think I'll put handles on, but I might put feet on. Um, I'll just move the mould off to one side though. Move my board. And this one says, "Coffee gets me started. Wine o'clock keeps me going," which I think for most people is quite true. Well, certainly a lot of people anyway um, but I'm really happy with that I hope you can see sorry I've not got that in a very I didn't have that in a very good place did I again um, I'm happy that you can see the beads the beans at the bottom um, and there is a little bit of texture I wanted a little tiny bit of texture on this um, so I'm really pleased with that um, I've just got to decide whether to put feet on here or not now uh, but um, no, I'm really happy with those. Let me just grab the coasters and you can see them all together. I'm not sure if I'll fit them all in, but I'll try. Just about. Um, I, like I say, I will take some still shots and I'll add those to the end of the video. Um, and I'll pop the video up for you to see. So I hope you like those as much as I do. And I will be back shortly with another experiment. So I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.